Charles here is another young talent and fan of my videos who will take over when I'm gone. So here you can see Charles and this is, is one of his channels here. Uh, Jester Man. Go and leave some comments. He's a cameraman for Rebel News Canada and he has several channels. Here on his channel Pharaoh Tales and Tells, he recognized the origins of Q, which is a brilliant find of his, to which I can fully agree. Here, this is the Order of the Garter, and the Garter itself, it makes a Q. Wow, fantastic. Well done, Charles. So, this is the name of his video here. What is Q or who is Q? And um, it's on Charles, his channel here. Uh, Pharaoh Tales and Tells. Ah, I even left a comment there. Uh, he talks about opium. <laughs> <laughs> they use hope as a drug, you know, to to lure us into doing nothing. Hopium. Fantastic. So go and have a look at this video and um, uh, make sure you leave some comments. And uh, this is really good work. Very important. So here in my channel, Gure, the same channel. And here is the title, Behold the Pale Horse Unicorn of the Order of the Garter for the Union of the Old World's Order with the New World's Order, Channel Gure. So, after he saw my video here explaining the Order of the Garter, Charles recognized the letter Q in the crest of the Order of the Garter. You see, this is a Q. There you go. So Charles has the ability to see beyond the veil. The enemy has drawn over everything as the first weapon against us is the lie and the concealment. Concealment, just as John F. Kennedy stated in his famous speech, which they killed him. I read it for you. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies on covered means, concealment, you see, for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice. You know, like the Swiss police, you know, like putting three guns in my head, intimidation. On guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. You know, clean Switzerland, you know, that it all happens in the night, you know, during the day it's all clean and neutral and all that. It is a system which has conscripted far vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, you know, the WEF, the World Economic Forum in Switzerland, Knights Templars, the, the first multinationals in history who invented the banks, eh? you see, economic, scientific, and political operation. You know, their first weapon against us is the lie and the concealment, just as Q. Thank you, Charles. Charles also has the channel Jester Man, where he goes hunting for occult symbols in Canada, like in this video here, Pharaohs in Ottawa. Go check it out and leave a comment. So, of course, we see the octagon three times, you know, the. Um, for the uh, the concept of three, which is them, and uh, so 
There's his ch the video, Pharaohs in Ottawa, Jesterman channel. And, uh, okay, go leave a comment and subscribe. So here it is. Behold the pale horse unicorn of the Order of the Garter for the union of the old world order with the new world order. And as I've explained to you in my video here on the Order of the Garter, that the order has been founded by the Knights Templars in order to keep the peace between the two nobility sections, the Royalists and the Republicans. And as I've explained in this video here on my channel Homeland Security, entitled Pharaoh Trump Genealogy Blood Ties to Killary Global King Aristocracy Masters over US Slaves, that Trump is a genuine aristocrat from his mother's side and even related to the royal houses of Denmark and Norway, thus representing the royalists by his ancestry. But as Trump was also the president of a very important republic, he had to find a way to give concealed messages to the two groups within the aristocracy to keep them in peace with each other. Thus, using the traditional tool for this goal, the Order of the Garter, but in a concealed 21st century way, so all the initiated would understand it. Q. As the letter Q resembles the garter of the order's logo and crest. And a snake they are indeed. This is the garter. Where we go one, we go all. As I already explained to you, this is from the Knights Templars who made the Republic and it stands for all for one and one for all. As it stands on their first and most important base in the Alps, in Switzerland, where it says on the ceiling of their parliament, Unos pro omnibus, omnes pro uno. Which means, where we go one, we go all. This means that serious frictions within the nobility between the Royalists and the Republicans are augmenting again. Which is, of course, the basic reason behind the reasons I've already told you for the Ukraine war, which you can see here in these two videos and the third one. Because all wars we had have always been about internal frictions of power within the nobility for which the dumb slaves have to bleed for. So this here is the basic of all the reasons behind the reasons of the war. The strife between the horizontal rule of our masters and the vertical rule. The internal strife between the Republicans and the Royalists. And this is why that Trump now says that under his presidency, the Ukraine war would have never happened because of Q, which you can see here, the order of the garter for peace and order within Pharaoh's community of our masters. None of our masters systems will provide freedom for humanity. The royalists will honor valors, honor the creation, and rule obviously and in the open in a typical vertical feudal rule, whereas the Templar Republicans 
of the horizontal rule are totally satanic and rule in concealed ways. But in both systems, we will always be their slaves. It needs a new system. And I'm neither a royalist nor republican. And if my computer holds out, I might present you all how the new system should look like. And remember that the anti-Christ with an E for anterior coming before as the good guy and not the one afterwards from the royal house of David, of our pharaonic masters, who will always kill the good guy to replace him with one of theirs. So they can have everlasting peace for themselves, while humanity will be locked away under a very peaceful, total control system forever.